Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, just kind of wanted to show you the room that I keep all my comic books in. I know it's chaotic and it's not even clean yet, per se. I moved here about six months ago, and I, I, this is the room I'm supposed to designate for all my collections. You know, I collect everything from baseball cards, comic books, records, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know? Like, here's all my comic book loan boxes, you can see. I pretty much keep them organized. I got my Amazing Spider-Man collection over here, starting from A all the way over here to to Z pretty much but not I mean the, the front books you see are just books I've, I've had on display just because I'm trying to read them or whatever I just I love the covers I just got I switch them out I get bored of certain books this long box right here is a whole long box of extra books that I have probably be willing to trade or sell on eBay but I haven't got around to it yet <clears throat> And uh, let's see here. Some of the books you see, you've probably seen these in my videos. Like, uh, you know, these are awesome books right here. If you guys haven't picked them up, you should try to get these. The Spider Man magazine books. Incredible. Got the Tomb of Dracula number 10, one of my favorites. We've got Awesome Weird Fantasy. We got probably my favorite book I own, Silver Surfer number one. It's about fine condition. Got the number four Silver Surfer, and I guess I have the first appearance of the Defenders back here. I didn't even. Don't know why I'm, I'm ashamed to show it. Tales to Astonish number 33. I'll show you guys some other stuff down here, man. I've got, look, baseball cards. I've got like three or four unopened 1987 tops, wax boxes. I don't know why. Just bought a case a long time ago. These are actually orphan books I have. I just haven't got around to putting them in the order yet. All kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, yeah, and plus I got the, the rest of my Amazing Spider-Man collection, like the end of them. 300s, the late 300s. I haven't had a place to really put them yet. Oh man, I'm still got books everywhere. Let's see what we got here. Fantastic Four number nine. That's a bunch of trash. Fantastic Four 24. Yeah, I guess I keep my Silver Age books in here. Some of them, just a few of them. Wow. Oh yeah, I kept the Marvel in the middle. Forgot about that one. Bunch of Captain Marvels. Oh yeah, my daredevils are here. See, I don't even remember. Sometimes I lose track of where my books are. I'm sure a lot of you guys have that problem. This is my DC box. My Silver Age DCs, I guess. And what do we got here? I don't even know. We got Journey to Mysteries. Oh, some good old stuff. Let's see here. You all have seen these in my videos. Anyway, moving on. I've got a box right here. I guess it's just kind of Orphan Gold Key books. I, they're full chaos. I've got to really get these, get some better bags and boards for some of these. A lot of my Disney books are in here. Dale's, my Carl Barks collection. Got some Forrest Carl. But you all have probably seen these. So. Anyway, i got another box down here. I guess I've got my Thor's. I should have them for my Journey into Mysteries, but you know. And I don't know what else I got in here. Crazy stuff. Oh, Atlas books. Wow. True Bloods. This is my wife's collection. I don't even particularly like True Blood, but she actually reads. She used to read True Blood. I guess she lost interest in the actual comic books, but she's still a huge fan of the uh, TV shows. Let's see right here. What I got? Bunches of um, 45s that are in these boxes, records. Um, got a shelf here of uh, just random comic books I kind of put on display and baseball cards like crazy. Let's see, I'll show you guys some of the stuff. What do we got here? Conga's Revenge. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's a Jackie Robinson card just laying around. Hank Aaron. All kinds of crazy stuff. Got Marvel Spotlight, Ghost Rider number five, first Swamp Thing. I've got all my sagas back here somewhere. Actually, this is my favorite new title. Most of you guys are probably into it also. Let's see what else I can show you guys. I'll come back to the comics here in a second. Oh yeah, probably wondering what this is. Look at this old, somebody gave this to me. It's actually the movie display poster from Titanic. I'm not that huge of a fan, but I thought the poster was pretty cool. It takes up a lot of, it covers up my wall, so it's not so boring. Uh, let's see here. Bob Dylan poster hasn't been hung up yet. I've got a big stack of uh, crazy orphan autograph books. I don't have a place to put. Gold, Golden Age books. What else? 
Swamp Thing autographed by uh, Bernie Wrightson. I've got a few CGCs. Here's my Stanley autograph. I already showed you guys my ASM, my Avengers. Oh, yeah, here's my Amazing Spider Man box. Everything from 122, 121, all the way up. What do we got here? Oh, we're talking Daredevils. Chaos. Yep, the Man of Fear. Holy crap. Yeah, I guess I wasn't really prepared for this video here, but I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea of how I organize my books. It's just pretty much A to Z in Marvel. And then I keep my DC separate because I really don't have a whole lot of DC. I know it's sacrilege to some of you collectors. I got a whole box of Hulk, Incredible Hulk, 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 Commandies. Here's my K. What do we got here? Got Cole number one. I forgot I had that. I didn't have Cole number two. I didn't even know I had that either. That's funny. I forgot about half my books. Got a lot of Coles. Cole, Cole. You know, I don't have Luke Cage number one. That's a disappointment. I need to get that. We got your Machine Man. I've got most of that complete run. And I actually, as far as um, DC goes, this is a title I really love. It's uh, The Man of Steel. I actually have all these. I love John Byrne. I've got a lot of Marvel Tales. Oh, this is Marvel Collector's Item Classics. I have most of those, too. Those are great reprints. If you guys haven't if you guys haven't checked these out, these are awesome. We're talking Silver Age reprints of um, Silver Age books. To me, that's better than getting like newer reprints. Ah, Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine. Number one. All kinds of those. Well, Defenders Marvel Feature. Oh, been the hell out of that. What do I get, right? I've got a lot of these Ant-Man books. Marvel team-ups, Marvel tales. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got most of the New Mutants. I know I have number one through... I don't know. It goes pretty far up there. Let's see. I've got a bunch of these Nick Fury books. Reprint things. Hmm. Power Man Iron Fist. Power Pack number one. Lots of punishes. What do we got here? Oh yeah, I have a lot of ROMs too. I guess those are back there. All right, I'm gonna stop this for a second and get. All right, I'll just show you guys some more of my loan boxes, and I'll show you some of my other collections just for fun. Lots of Silver Surfers, you know, Spawn. You guys have seen all these. No point with them all out. I've got a million number one Spider Mans. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> I think I've got the gold. No, I have the silver. I used to have the gold. I don't know what the fuck happened to it. Somebody stole it or something. I had the Walmart edition. It was a pretty tough to find, but I don't know what happened to it. Got the web of Spider Man number one. You know, I've got several of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's Peter Parker Spectacular number one. Fine, very fine condition. Probably not after I mess with it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to complete the Peter Parker Spectacular Spider Man run, but I'm pretty far off. <laughs> 2099. I remember buying that. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, Star Wars number one. Yeah. yeah. Got a lot of Star Wars. Someday I'm gonna tighten up that run. Let's see here. I'm actually kinda curious as to what I've got here, you know? Got some Strange Tales. I don't really collect this second series of Strange Tales much. Submariners. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've got a lot of Submariner. Hey, wait, here's a here's a classic. Oh my god, Super Pro number five. Now that right there, that is rare. Let me tell you. It's worth thousands of dollars. That thing. Okay, wait. I got thing number one somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. There's my holy grail. Yeah, I knew I had that. What else we got here? Oh, my Thor's. I'm starting my Bronze Age Thor's. Yeah, I've got a lot of them. Yep, yep. Let's see what we got here. We go from. I think it goes from Thor to X Men here. I don't have as many of the Walt Simonson ones as I'd like to have. Here. Let's pull some of these out. Uh, Curse of Man's probably got all these. Some of these are awesome reads. No, they're not worth hardly anything, but they're fun. The Zaniac craves blood. Oh yeah, here's a great one. Oh yeah, first Beta Ray Bill. Second Beta Ray Bill. 
right now I can actually move through here a little bit. Oh yeah, my two Madracas. That's probably worth looking at. And number one. And I've got number two. Number four. Number six. Fourteen. My number ten's down there. I think I already showed you guys. Here's number fifteen. These are such great covers. These are worth showing. Number nineteen. I don't have a whole lot. I'm just trying to get like maybe 1 through 30 or something. That's really about as far as I'm probably going to take it. I may go further. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, <laughs> Twilight Zone. 2001. Oh yeah. Great title. I don't have number 2. What the hell? I thought I had number 2. Excuse me. And number 5. What the hell? I don't have number 4. What's all the 2001's I got? What the hell? Oh yeah, where creatures from? Um, I remember um, 123 Comic Man traded me this, I think, if I remember correctly, a long time ago. Hey, shout out to 123 Comic Man. Haven't heard from you for a while, man. Hope you're doing all right. Oh, the Watchmen. Got all these. Of course, who doesn't have these and who hasn't seen them? Got a few Werewolf by Nights, but not too many of them. That one's not looking too good, but that's an awesome cover. Oh yeah, What Ifs is a collection that I need to really tighten up. I wish I had a lot more of them, but I love this title. I don't have a lot of the early ones, but... Alright, I guess, you know, better start moving on to other stuff. We're going to see comic books in this video, which ain't a problem, right? X-Force, you know, you got to have some life held. you got to represent the life held. Where are they at? Oh yeah, here. Buy this book and invest in your child's future. <laughs> Okay, how's my Uncanny X-Men looking here? I think I don't have my Silver Age ones in here. I think I just have my Bronze on. My Silver Age are in another box. This is one of my favorite ones. I gotta show you this one. Who hasn't seen that one? But uh, that's awesome. I know Gene Paul Ice Peter loves that one. And he's right. That's a great. Got some of the Neil Adams. Oh, that's my earliest new X-Men. Oh, well, you've all seen the X-Men. I've got a pretty nice run. I've got most of them from, say, like 140 through 300 and something. I've got some, a lot of the other ones. Let's see, what else we got here? I already showed you guys that. Okay, here's my here's my record collection. It's most of my 33s. So this is going to be kind of quick and random. I've got a bunch of CDs up here. And I'll show you guys some of my 45s just for fun. Oh yeah, Jumping Jack Flash. What else? Oh, we got the cars. Simon and Garfunkel. Oh yeah. These are just some of the... Um, some of my favorite picture sleeves. I got a lot more. I got the Beatles and stuff somewhere. I got Elvis. I'm not sure what box they're in though. There's a classic. Hell yeah. Not in very good shape, but hey. More Beach Boys. These are my favorite songs of all time. Ooh, good vibrations. Hell yeah. Yeah, I've got some monkeys too. I forgot about that. Alright, I guess I better move on. You'll be looking at all these records to see here. This could be a very, very long video. <laughs> oh hell. What the hell? Some of you guys put out 40 minute videos, so what if I do? What are you gonna do about it, right? Just not watch it? <laughs> then don't watch it. Strawberry Fields Forever. Oh yeah, Guns N' Roses. What else we got here? Ooh, this is from my dad. He decided he's gonna chop the middle out of it. I don't know why. I think he just stuck it in like one of those record holster holders from Loving Spoonful, got some Who, Pinball Wizard. Oh yeah, so anyway, here's my 1980s records pretty much, and then I just kind of keep them in um, decade order. Here's my 70s, and then on down to 60s plus orphaned records. Got some magazines over here. This is just a mess with a guitar amp. So yeah, it's pretty much an overview of my collection, guys. Nothing special, but I thought I'd kind of give you a little sneak peek just so you can see how messy I am. <laughs> Yeah, baseball cards. All I've got them everywhere. I may do a video on baseball cards. I've got so many, so much crap. A lot of these are commons, but some of them are good stuff. Got Jimmy Pearsall. Yeah, Warren Spawn. That's a good one. Gil Hodges. Hey, there's a Denny McLean. I don't think it's his rookie card, but it's the second card, I think. Ron Santo. Oh, we got Gary Carter. Eddie Murray rookie. That's a good one. Ooh, Thurman Munson. There's a great card. Gaylord Perry. What else we got? Yeah. Uh, 
hell, I got a little bit of time left, so I'll just slop through. Hey, Hank Aaron. Uh, Joe Torrey, Ron Guidry. More Jimmy Pearsall and Gil Hodges. Yep. Here's a Carl Ferrello. SGC. Yeah, here's my early Sandman book. Uh, which one is this? Number 37. Kind of wishing I had number 35. I almost bet on one the other day, guys, but it's going to cost me a lot of money, so I backed out. I was close, so I almost did it. I almost did the dirty. It's the first Green Goblin. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good week. Later.